Okay, well first real struggle of the day, as you guys can see here, there's a log jam and there's a boat in it and that's as much water as there is. So we got it about halfway through, figured I'd share the struggle with you. We're almost there though. We almost got it through. You can see the boat sitting on dry ground. Got Brooke up front dragging. Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to unload the boat, move everything around and then get through, but I think we're gonna be okay. So let's keep trying. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three, oh! almost one, two, three, ah! we did it, we did it, we did it, onward to camp, got a few more miles left, absolute beautiful day, still on the ground, who thought my glasses would be all fogged up and I'd be sweating in the middle of the Alaska wilderness, let's get to camp everybody, but first, we're scouting for fish all the way down, so it's pretty obvious we can never come past this point back up river again. We're almost stranded down here. We'll have to figure that out towards the end of the trip. Figure out exactly how we're gonna do that and where we're gonna where we're gonna take this boat out. So unless we get some rain, unless we get some water, we won't be going back that way. That's for sure. That's looked like that's that's what it looks like to be beached. Did you just call me a beach? No, I didn't call you a beach. First sign of wildlife, everybody. I'm not sure how good you could see that on the GoPro, but those were two giant cow moose walking right down the middle of the river. Oda's first moose, Brooke's first moose, not mine and the littles, but super, super cool. First moose of the trip. That was awesome. All right, so we have arrived at what we think is gonna be camp. I've camped in this spot before, and the idea of this trip, the whole goal behind it, other than living in the woods for four days in Alaska, we're actually living out here for nine days, but some of the other videos that we're filming is for the Addicted channel, so you guys are gonna to have to go over to that to check those videos out. But that's besides the point right now. The thing is, this main goal, the main goal on this trip is to catch steelhead um, and to camp in the best spot that's gonna allow us to catch steelhead. And so far, all the way down to this camp, I have not seen almost any steelhead. We saw a good little pack of them further up river past where we can't get back through where you guys just saw but since that spot since for the last like probably four or five miles of river i have not seen any sign of fish so i'm thinking what we might do we might stash some of our stuff here work our way down river till we find some fish and then come back for our camping gear but i wanted to show you guys this we walked up into the brush to check out camp absolutely gorgeous spot nice and flat with the snow it's gonna be perfect. We'll do a nice moss layer right here. Take some moss off of the trees, lay it down to put our tent up on top. We got good trees for some tarpology here and here. But one thing is for sure that I noticed as soon as we walked into the trees is this is going right through the camp. And uh, comment below if you guys know what that is. Bigger than Brooke's foot. That is a bear track, everybody. Walking right through camp, right in the middle of camp. Actually, the bear track is bigger than Oda herself. Um, kind of funny, kind of cool. I like, I think it's neat. It's one of the most exciting parts of camping in this part of Alaska. We got moose tracks, we got bear tracks walking right through the middle of our camp. But this is pretty insane. So this is Little's Paw that you see there. And this is the bear track that you see there. That's a really big bear. A really freaking big bear. And these tracks are pretty old, it's probably a week old or so. But it doesn't matter, we know he's around the area. Wow, look at that one. 
again. Here's my big bear paw. Bigger than my big bear paw. Giant, giant bear. They've come out of hibernation already. I was kind of wondering if that had been the case and if these things were going to be around. So this is going to be a very interesting, interesting week to see if we have to tackle or I mess with any of these absolutely massive brown bears that live up here. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Some of you probably think we're crazy, but I think it's fun. I brought some bear spray. I didn't have any shells for my pistol to bring up here for protection, but we have bear spray. Obviously, you don't want to shoot these bears if you don't have to. Um, so we got a brand new canister of bear spray to protect us while we're here. But again, the trials and the struggles are that there's not a lot of steelhead here. So I think we're going to offload some, some of our gear, head down river, see if we can't find a hole with a bunch of fish that has a nice campsite, and then we'll stay there. So stay tuned. This is an awesome adventure already. We just saw a few steelhead in the water, so Jordan's stopping to put a line in, and then I found this floating in the water. Moose poop. <laughs> I keep dropping it. Oh, she's a floater. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Super chromers, everybody. Oh, he's off. Oh, oh, lost him. First hookup of the trip. Saw those fish as we went by. They were so chrome, I couldn't leave them be. And we got one. Woohoo! Fish number one. Should we call this the moose poo pole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> got it. Oh, and it out. I was just cleaning the brook, told her to come up and fish. I was cleaning her right where the fish were, and I said, right about there. And whoop, there went the bobber. Second fish on. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. This is living, everyone. Oh, that's a super chromer. Wow. Super chromer. Okay. Wow. First Alaskan steelhead on the Stay Fishy channel. What a freaking blessing. Come on, buddy. It's okay. Wow. There he is. Just a perfect example of an Alaskan steelhead. Beautiful spots on him. Beautiful little kipe on the front. He's got that big hook jaw, the jig in the side of his mouth. And all in all, that was a perfect, perfect situation. Second fish of the trip. Yeah, first moose, first fish. This is gonna be a good day one. Day one of four, I love it. See you later, buddy. Okay, now it's Brooke's turn. I'm not gonna lie, she casted once off the camera and got a fish first cast. But the hands were cold and the fish was missed. So here we go, cast number two. There he is. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> there he is, got him. Oh, oh, sh Yep, reel it back in nice and slow. Nice and slow, you'll get him. Ooh. <laughs> Got a peanut gallery going here. We got the dogs, we got the Jordan yelling at you. That's all right, this cast will be the one. You remember, just wear it written down. The girl's on, the girl's on. Took a few tries, but she's on. <laughs> got him on the leaner. Bobber never even went all the way down. And here's her first steelhead of the trip. You happy for mama's little? Good job, baby. Got a line peeler. Oh yeah. The girlfriend got the girlfriend. First one was a male male steelhead, this one's a female. Yes. The funny thing is, the cool thing is about where we're at, we saw five steelhead as we went by. We just hooked five. <laughs> right, right hand on the tail. There it is, the Brookster's first steelhead of the trip. Good job, baby <laughs> girl. Woohoo! Got the addicted worm right in the mouth. What a great fish. What do you think, little? What do you think, babe? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that. Gratifying. Took a few tries, but we got it. Finally. Go ahead, let her rip. What do you think, Odas? She says, I think it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first two fish of the trip. Haven't even made camp yet. So awesome.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have found our little piece of paradise for the week. Beautiful riverside spot. Great spot for the boat to park. Little trail. Tiny's already got his bed built. We already checked around for some bear tracks. A lot less bear tracks. It was the first thing Brooke did when we got here, but we got a great spot. Nice flat area. I'll probably fill this area in here with some snow. Make sure it's nice and level. And then we'll add the moss layer down below. Got us a nice little foyer. Perfect. Perfect little spot for our tables and everything. I'm going to run a tarp right here. Do some tarpology. And you know, I've done some tarpology on the truck and maybe a couple other times on some stay fishy videos, but this is going to be some of the most serious tarpology we've ever done. It's important why we're out here to get a nice layer over camp to, to stay dry. We want, the, we want the rain to fall as hard as possible while we're out here because we want the river to come up, we want fish to be around, and for that to happen, we have to be prepared in camp. So without further ado, let's start packing some gear. Let's get the camp set up. Okay, so I go in the big box of love. And of course, down here on the bottom somewhere, somewhere, oh yeah, there they are. I brought these throw bags here. And these are for whitewater rafting, essentially, but they work really good for building a tarp city. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make an X in the middle of camp. I'm gonna have ropes going this way, ropes going this way. So the first one I'm gonna go from this tree here to this tree over there. That's gonna be our first static line. Should be perfect. Grab this in, hang it up here. Gonna start this one here with a, just a bowling knot. Go around, through the hole, back through the hole. Boom, bowling. Figure eight, something. Did it wrong. I'm full of shit. Just purely full of shit. Around the horn, down, yep, yep. There we go. For a static line. And we're gonna run this one over here. And one important part is I have to tie my trucker's hitch on this end, which is one of these right here. I just roll it over my fingers, grab it through the middle, trucker hitch, just like that. And then I gotta go all the way around this guy here. Gotta get that as high as possible without pulling out my trucker hitch. Okay. Now that I got that, I'm gonna double back to that. Pull her tight, as tight as I can. And tie her off. There we go. Beautiful, got how nice that looks. Nice straight line, all the way across. We're dialed. Do a couple more hitches, real quick right there. Maybe one more for good measure. And there's line number one. Cool. Mrs. Brookie's been packing around this fluffy stuff all over the place. And this is an awesome, awesome way to insulate your tent at night. So I'm just gonna try to lay out the footprint of the tent. Just got some nice big chunks here. That way when you get up with your bare feet, not the kind you're thinking of, <laughs> in the middle of the night, you don't have to step on the ice cold ground. You got insulation, insulation, Ins insulation. Okay, now the moment we pray about. I'm about to open up the tent for the first time in a long time. And let's just all cross our fingers that everything that's supposed to be in there gonna be in there. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Chateau de Steelhead. This is the chateau. We still haven't set up the cook part yet. We'll get to that in just a second, but pretty sick little setup. A lot of room, two cots in there, a cable in the middle, dogs all around. Whew, sun's out, getting a little warm. 
conditions are gonna change heavily tonight. Looks like it's gonna get a little bit more. I see some clouds rolling in all day long. You can see that gray in the sky, but we're gonna have a great evening. It'll actually keep it a little bit warmer if it does get a little cloudy over the night. The last couple nights have been like 21 to 28 degrees. So that's cold, but gotta get the uh, kitchen set up now. Get everything laid out. Time to eat some food, then go for the witching hour. I wanna catch more steelhead. All right, the beds are made. Everybody always asks, Jordan, how do you get your girlfriend to go camping with you? And it's simple. You give her the big bed. This is Brooke's bed, Brooke and, and Oda's. And then this is mine, and Little's. Actually, I guarantee Little sleeping with mom. I can promise you that. Okay, you wanna do one bag in the bag? Yeah, open that thing all the way up. Ooh, it's even pretty on the inside. Someone's gonna be happy. Okay, and for my sleeping bag, I got my World War II German Army sniper bag. It's got arms, it's got legs. You can unzip and go for a midnight potty, just like that. Legs come flying out. Pretty flipping sweet. Sometimes it can almost be too hot. Did you just seriously go pee for that thing? Yep. That's what that's for? Uh-huh. You got two zippers here, waterproof layer, buttons to boot. And if a bear comes, I can spray him. We have done it. Camp is done. Tomorrow, we got four days here. And I'm so excited to do the first multi-day video that we're pretty much ever doing. The most, this long at least. Um, and it's such a beautiful place. We're in one of my favorite places in the world. And you can tell for good reason. It's one of the quietest places I've ever been in my life. Not a peep. Not a human. Not a plane, train, or automobile. And we're set up. So we got four days to get set up and, and get our other tarp set up. We're going to do another tarpology over the, the kitchen. And we'll show you guys the kitchen. we got our clothes hangers here. Brooke and Oda are in there getting warm. This is my cootie. This is my beer koozie for up here. Win in Rome. Live like the beavers. Cheers, everyone. Come on out. Oda Bugs got her, her very nice jacket that we got her for this trip. And this is her debut. This is Oda's debut. Come on out, Oda. Come on. Come on out. Oh yeah. Fashions. Fix her Look at the fashions. <laughs> her back feet. She's got a jumpsuit. Her back feet got in there a little far. Oh, come on. Stick them chicken legs out. There we go. There you go. Pose for the camera, Oda. There she is. <laughs> Not very proud of it, but it'll work. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's funny. That is too funny. Oh yeah, sexy catwalk or dog walk, whichever. Whatever you want. All right, everybody, the witching hour is upon us. We're back in the boat, waited up, and we're headed down to our evening hole. We saw a bunch of fish here earlier as we were doing our little scouting mission, trying to figure out where we wanted to camp tonight. So. We camped very close to these fish. We'll see if the witching hour pays off. Got him, everyone. Got him. Took a little bit of working, but I got him. It's a really nice one, too. Beautiful steely. I worked my way down. I started at the top of the hole, started working my way all the way down through here. And I spotted them all right out here in front of me. And I had the camera on for a second there, and I didn't get the bite. Oh, it's such a pretty one. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, what an acrobatic fish, my goodness gracious. There he is. I'm gonna go really easy on him here. I'm gonna give you guys a little look. I got plenty more B-roll, just for a second. There he is, beautiful, beautiful steely. I'm trying to get him on hook now. There we go, I'm gonna go real easy. Nice and easy, buddy, come on, come on. 
I'm gonna reach down with my pliers actually. Gotta work smarter, not harder. Don't even take my water here. And off he goes. Woohoo! The witching hour fish. We got him. Yes! Now I'm switching right back to my worm. I think we can trick him. I think I found him. I found where they're hiding. Go back right up in there. Perfect cast. Okay, here it goes. Oh, there he is, got him. Yep, very next cast. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one. Whew, just switched up lures. Got fish number two of the witching hour. <laughs> oh, this is the most peaceful, amazing experience ever, you guys. Oh, I can't believe this right now. This is living. Oh, he came off. Too busy talking to the camera. Lost the fish, but didn't lose the fun. Yes, let's see if we can go again. See if we can get another one. He sure chewed that worm up. Let's see if we can get another hook in it. Just like that. Perfect. She's fixed. Oh man. A little too far. She busted it. Busted her off. That's all right. Back to the jig anyway. Okay, we're jigging. There we go. Seems like a safe spot. Second cast after the fish. Or should I say second fish? Come on. Right in there. There he is. Got him. Oh my god. Holy moly, he nailed that. Holy moly, he nailed that. Let's get him again. Wow, what a bobber down. I have to go back to the worm to get him to bite again. But cripes all on a cracker. That was a big bite. That's the cast. That's when it's gonna happen right there. That's the cast. Be ready, everybody. In three, two, one. 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 Oh, didn't happen. Okay. Changing it up. Back to Sloppy Smith. Let's see. First cast magic. Oh, bom bombs away. Okay, here it goes. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's a bazillion what they call hooligans going by. They're like a smelt species almost. But just look at them all. That's insane. I know you can keep and eat these things and they're absolutely delicious. So we might need to find a way of trapping them and netting them at some point along this trip because that is freaking awesome. There are so many of them, it's insane. Look at them all. Look at them all. Just freaking lined up going through there. Finally kept that one on. You guys saw that whole sequence of events there. Kept losing them, kept losing them. Got them on the bead. Hashtag bead. Oh, that's a pretty one. Wow, what a special fish. I'm gonna try to do this without getting my hands wet. Or even really handling the fish again. Look at this thing. Look at this fish. She is gorgeous. And every single boat, she came loose. Oh, she's sitting right there. Oh my god, she's sitting right there under the boat. 
Wow, I'm sick of the GoPro one. That was awesome. Fish number two of the evening bite. What a good day. And what a glorious one it is. Stepping out of the warm tent. Got the little buddy rocket in there. And look at this day. Look at this day we have. The boat didn't sink last night. There's a lot of water in it. The hooligans are still migrating like crazy, but I noticed they're going down. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but they're all swimming back down river. Really weird. But it's time for a cup of joe, if I may say so myself. up a spoon in that stuff right there. Mm -hmm. That's the Alaskan Joe right there. Great A Alaskan Joe. Put some hair on your chest. Oh, that's a good cup of Joe. This is going to be a good day, everybody. We have a jam-packed day full of steelhead fishing and adventure today. We gotta still build our tarp set up for a kitchen in case it starts to rain, which it feels like it is. I can feel that tingle in my elbow. It feels like rain out here. But nonetheless, it's been a good night. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go catch some fish. Coda, how are you feeling today? Very cold. You better go put your coat on, you're gonna catch cold. And we're down to the boat. Start bailing some water out of it. Not bad, not bad, it's seen worse. All right, start to the morning ritual. We're ready. I'm tired. Bush knots, this is how we kept the boat from sinking last night. A little bit of mule tape. Dad, I know you're proud. I know you're watching out there and I know you're super proud that I didn't just fix the boat the right way before we took off, but sorry dad. At least we're floating. All right, Brookie's first cast of the morning. I had my killer, killer evening last night. Perfect, bring it back this way a tiny bit. Right there, yep, that's a fish on. Give it a line, give it a line. Mend it. Don't worry about it, you're out of the zone now. You need to be closer to the brush, but it's just because that line is sticking to the reel. Everyone world's gonna see your face, what it looks like when you go to set the hook. That's getting one for sure. Mend, real quick. Yep, let it rock. Oh, there he is, get him, get him. Get him! Oh, I missed him! <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I think that was a log, to be honest. No, it was not. It's all. That's okay. We're on no comment. No comment. Let's try it again. <laughs> I think that was. No, it's okay. Bad. You just spat it out before you could get to him. It happens. That kind of thing happens out here in Alaska. Sometimes they spit you out. And you just gotta keep fighting. You gotta come back strong and keep fighting. Yep, yep, you are in the zone. Here's the zone, here's out of the zone. You're over here. You're in the zone. Let's see if that log takes it under again there. Right, exactly. Darn, looks like that log moved. Dude, it hasn't even got there yet. Yeah, uh huh, it, it was right, right there. there. It yeah, was before right there. there. Oh god, that log still isn't there though. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach Brooke exactly how to fish really good in these kind of conditions and she's casted for about 30, 30 minutes or so. Hasn't hooked one. I've been trying to coach her. Get, we've been fighting if you guys really want to know. Not actually fighting. Not fighting but getting annoyed and I literally take the rod to show her demonstration cast and hook two on one drift. I let them both let it go but it, I hooked two on one cast and so she wanted to tell you pull it off. It's okay. There you go. Just let that float. So she's here to tell you how frustrating it is to fish with Jordan. 
Especially when I'm just as competitive, but really? I don't know what I'm doing. So it's really frustrating to float all these and then Jordan just catches one just doing a demo. The bobber, I should have recorded it. The bobber floated 10 feet, went down. I like waited for it to come back up. I let it go another 20 feet. It goes down and stays down for like a minute. I just let it sit there and it comes up again and floats down the river. But sh there's two biters in there. Okay, so I don't think you guys can see it very good yet. But right over here, coming up river, is a steelhead migrating up towards us. There's two of them, side by side. I need to get a puff ready. Oh, that is so cool. So I don't know if you guys can see them, but right here is solid steelhead. Come on, Brooke, you got this. Perfect. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Yep, let's fish. Got him. Good job, baby. Good job. She's all bent up. She's all bent up. She's all bent up. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. She lost it. That's all right, though. We probably shouldn't let her drift that far to the tail out, but that's besides the point. Way to go, Brooke. Way to go, Brooke. She's all bent up. <laughs> We're back next to our fire, warming our fingers. Got a little cold out there on us. Oda is totally Ralphie right now. Dogs are munching, and it was a good morning. I off camera hooked quite a few fish. I will do a better job of filming them uh, throughout the rest of the day, but I was really trying to get Brooke one. But every time I cast it, just, just to check, if there was fish there, there was a fish there, so. Um, <laughs> we're gonna continue this mission after a little coffee. Coffee going again. Back at camp, warming our hands. Getting ready for a big day. So I scrambled from the beach, up the log, onto the logs in search of those fish over under that tree. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride with me. Please excuse any crappy footage to the clampy chesty. But watch this. Got him, oh God. That was the first bite, totally whiffed it. See if we can do it again. This is so cool, you guys. I can literally see the entire school of fish right down here in front of me. I'm going right into them. Right there, that's where they're at. I missed them by a couple feet. Oh, I'm still going towards some though. There's some right here. That one's huge, that one's huge. He's going towards it. Turned, he didn't like it, he moved. No, I got him. Oh my God, I had him. I fucking had him. Oh my God. Pardon my English, everybody. That was really dumb, but that's a big steelhead. He's chomping his mouth. He's really chompy. He sees it. He sees it. He's got it. I got him. Oh my God. That was so cool. Oh my God. That was so cool. You guys. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he's jumping again. Off the log jam. Oh, that was the most badass thing I've ever done in my life. Still head fishing. Hold. Oh, he's jumping again. Holy crap. I don't really know what to do now. I'm going to have to somehow design a slide or just completely fall off the log here. Okay, so goal number one, don't die. Goal number two, land a fish. Oh God, this guy, this guy is kicking my butt. Oh, he just jumped again, right in front of us. There he goes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go old school style here. I'm just gonna slide down the log on my butt. Okay, the limb trick is working. Limb trick is working. Oh, I want to poke a hole in my waders. Okay, we're looking good. The limb trick worked. Oh, okay. Oh, got him. I'm here. I made it, everybody. That was insane. Comment below what you just thought of that. Spotted him from the log, drifted it right to him, and he just demolished the jig. Yes. Okay. Wow, he's even prettier in person. So pretty. Oh, he's so pretty. Okay, got him. Got him. Like a calf in a rodeo. I got him. Oh, 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 I don't have him. I don't got him. I don't got him. 
He's out there now. Come on, guy. There you go. Man, he's strong. Man. Freaking rodeo here. This thing is so strong. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Chill. 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 There we go. Oh, God, I'm for good. Oh, holy moly, look at that fish, everyone. What a beauty. Just an incredible creature. I'm just going to grab the pliers here and send them out of the way. Yeah, that was so cool. What do you think, little? Wow. The first ever self filmed log jam fish. That was badass. Okay. As you guys can see here, there's a bazillion hooligan going through. So I thought, hell, I want to try to eat these little guys. They're kind of like a sardine or like a smelt, like we see back home when we get to dip for them. And they're called hooligans. So I got my landing nets. The only thing I got to do this. So Brooke and I are gonna work together, see if we can't get us a little snack for lunch. So Brooke literally just got one over there with her bare hands. And she's got, uh, got another one. She got another one. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this one right here. Oh, got him. Here they are. Here's a big school of them. Pushing them all the way to the corner, basically. And there's one. Oh. And two. <laughs> Look at this. They're all piled up at my feet here. Brooke's gonna throw me the net. I'm gonna throw her the GoPro. Okay, let's wait for them to bunch up again. And I'm gonna come right at you. Ready? Set, go. Oh, look at that hole. Oh, no. Nice. First try. <laughs> Got a whole pile of them. There you go, kids. They're flipping everywhere. Well, that only took one scoop. Little is having the time of his life over here. <laughs> <laughs> here, toss him in there, honey. I think we're pretty good for dinner, huh? Yep. These might go really good in the ramen. Oh, yeah. A little lunch ramen. We'll fry them up tempura style. Boy, it's not hard to catch these things, eh? Nope. Cool, look at those things. Look exactly like our smelt back home. Neat, I'm excited to try them. Well, after a hard day's work, harvested food with my bare hands. I got my catch stored in ice here, icing them down. Are we taking them back to camp? I bet little will not stand for them being un unburied. What? Are those your fish? Are those yours? I didn't see you catch them. What? Enough. Enough. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Okay, they're still there. My favorite part of this whole operation, that's the jet boat driving. Enjoy the ride. Mm. 
Well, I must say, coming out of the, out of the pan, the presentation is not on point. Can't say my presentation's a 10, but I have to say the flavor is. I'm not lying to you guys. These are absolutely awesome. Really have like a rockfish flavor almost. You can eat the bones and all. The bones are really, really soft. Beautiful chunk of white meat. Mm. The skin is delicious. Might be the best part. Peace for the camera gal. Thank you. We ended up doing hooligan soup. Definitely thinking stir fry for these little guys. It's gonna be amazing. So good. These hooligans being fried like this is the tail. It's just like a chip. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay, of course the coldest one gets fed first. Hold on, little. No, hold on, little. There you go. I got yours. Too hot. I'm oh, sorry. Should have waited. Look at her go. <laughs> Where are you going with that? <laughs> you have to go cool it off in the snow. No, 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 bug. That's your brother's. That's your brother's. <sighs> Woke up from a nice nap over there by that tree right there. Now it's time for the witching hour. And what do I have here? What do you have here, you might ask? That's my fly reel and my fly rod. We're gonna see if we can catch a fish on it tonight. Brooke and the dogs are staying once again. Not even I even asked Little if he wanted to go. He didn't move a muscle, so it's just me and the hooligans tonight. Look at all those freaking things. It's crazy. First fish of the witching hour. I lost one other one off the camera. This is the first one we actually really have on. There he is. Oh god. Switch to a big yarn ball. So I'll get right there. I could see all these fish still back up over here. Look at that. Wow, the moves he's making is incredible. Oh wow, what a cool fish. He's trying to break down the boat. He's trying to break down the boat. Show the world. It's all right, buddy. Wow. What a fish. Oh, just look at those clear fins. What a fish. Woo! First fish of the evening. And it's been late in the evening, man. I'd really tried hard. Glasses off. Yeah, it's getting dark. Don't have much longer. We got one under our belt, though. We might head back to camp. Get the family made some food. Today might be all about eating. I'm really, really impressed by how good those hooligans were. It's one of those things that everybody says is gross because they consider it bait. But usually anything in the world that people say is gross, I'm willing to try because usually it's kind of a hidden gem um, of, of culinary expertise. And all I did was fry it and put it in some soup. It was really awesome though. This has been an incredible day. Weather has still been great. I'm hoping it changes. The river levels are really low, as you guys can see. A lot of these tailouts and stuff are getting lower and lower and getting harder to get this boat through. We really need some rain, as uncomfortable as it will be, but it'll make the river come up and it will make fishing be insane. So, but fishing has been amazing. Today was the coolest day ever. Let's move down the river a little bit, see if we can't get one on this bay rod before the night's over. This is awesome. Okay, we have arrived. Number two. A little bit better chance to catch one on the fly here. Mainly because we got this moving water in front of us. Great bubble lines. Here we go.
didn't really realize it before, but I got a really good tug. Which is what all fishermen say, when, or what fly fishermen say rather. I don't know why. It sound like they're actually catching something. But I got a really good tug on those first couple of casts. I don't know what it was, but I pulled it away from it. Peter Funk. Right in there is where they're going to be sitting. That's where they were earlier. That's where they're going to be now. This is the same magical hole that we had our little log jam situation over here. Let's see if we can make it happen again with the fly. Two in the same day. Same hole. Two magical, magical things. Well, no fish on the fly tonight. But I tell you, there's not a more peaceful place in the world, nor any other place in the world I'd rather be right now. Let's head on back to camp, get dinner started. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I have a very stinking suspicion it's gonna rain. It's consistently getting warmer outside. I'm standing in the water, I'm not cold at all. I can feel the heat rising. Barometric pressure's dropping. I can feel it in my elbows, I'll say it again. But I can tell something's happening here. The weather is gonna change, so I'm gonna need to set my other tarp up tonight, maybe in the dark. It won't be as fun, but whatever. When tarpology calls, you must do tarpology. Let's head on back to camp. And so it begins. The steelhead camp staple. The Kanegi goulash. This is a, a meal that I grew up eating probably a couple times a week. Thanks, Mom. It's one of my favorites, and it goes really well in steelhead camp. It's a quintessential goulash, or a shit on a shingle, or whatever you want to call it. It's just about everything in the book in a pan, and it goes well in your belly. So, I got my elk burger going here. We're gonna season that up nicely. I got a can of cream of mushroom, can of cream of chicken, can of veg oil, elbow mac, some creamy potato soup mix. And we're gonna just smash all that together. And then we call it goulash. You know, times like this, you really start thinking about those bear tracks you saw up river. Okay. In goes the cream of mush. And the cream of chip. Goes the nude. I swear I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Did you? Yes. Did you have that turned on when you were changing the propane? Mm -hmm. I knew it. Did you? Jordan's trying to kill me. I think those are nudes. And the cheese. Yeah, cheese is melted. Let's give it a try. As if I haven't tried it already. Mmm. That'll make an Alaskan sized turd. Little tapatia. And there you have it. Ladies first. And so it begins. Day three of our Alaskan adventure. Slept pretty good last night. Woke up with a really bad migraine. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe I slept a little bit too close to the little buddy heater. But it's a glorious day. It's just starting to rain, which we need. Might not be the best thing in the world, but we need this rain. We need the water to come up because we need more fish to swim into this river. It's been an amazing trip so far. Gonna get some coffee in our bellies, hit the river, see if we can get Brooke one this morning. She had a long, hard day yesterday. I had a pretty good day on and off camera, uh, but she fished really hard, had a good time, kept her spirits up, so I think she's gonna earn a big one. I got the feeling in my elbow that she's gonna earn a big one today. Look at how majestic little is. 
Are you just some majestic Alaskan dog? Are you a majestic Alaskan dog? With sand on your nose? You are, huh? Yeah. That's what I am. <laughs> Alright, morning ritual is taken care of. And time for morning ritual number two. A good cup of gel. Let's do this. Well, we won't talk about Brooke's first cast of the day because there's nothing left to talk about. But here's the real first cast of the day. Right there. Away from the snags. That'll do this way. There we go. Oh, let it just let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. All right. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right over there, make a water steelhead. Right there, Brooks Bobber. Okay, don't touch it anymore. Get a line. Mega wad. She's entering the mega wad. Not a single one of them, but not a single one, but keep it going. Okay, bring her back in, go a little deeper. Well, if you couldn't tell by the barking, little. Oh. Well, it happened. Finally. I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> How many times has he said that? We got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a really nice one, too. Holy shnikes. Oh, yep, 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 exactly. When he goes in there, just put that tip right in the water. Oh, that's a really good one. We're netting this one. We better net this one. Heads up, bugs. Don't fall off the cooler again. She's had a couple big falls. Oh, that's a nice one. Damn. Fighting like crazy, too. Using the landing net from the boat. Should work just fine. Yep. Now straight up. Tricker. Oh, God, that's a nice fish, honey. Nice job, honey. Yeah. What a good fish. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, nice fish, babe. Holy crap. Lay her on the side. There we go. Oh, come on, honey. Get a good look at you. The world wants to see. Wow, babe. How was that? Amazing. <laughs> Frickin' A. The red and white jig got it done. I had just hooked one while she was warming her hands. Both getting away from us. I had just hooked one while she was warming her hands. And, uh,. So we worked through a bunch of different stuff. She made a few casts through there. Switched back to the same jig I got one on look, look, and whammy. Look, 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 look. look at that big buck. Oh, oh my God. Fish. Wow. Holy cripes, that's a big one. Look at the character on his face too. Beautiful. Oh God. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Ooh, this is probably the coldest day by far. It's got this gross drizzle all day, just keeping you wet. About right about 32 degrees. And she pulled it through with the biggest fish of the trip. Wow. Look at that adipose. Bring that up a little bit. Look at that, wow, everybody. That's pretty. Three, three dots. All right. That was a good uh, hook set, too. It was. Not gonna she, lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm pretty <laughs> proud of myself right now. Okay. Now let's try to get a, we're gonna try to get a couple photos of this thing, guys. And then we'll try to let it go on camera, but if it gets away, it gets away. We don't want to hurt this big guy. Let's do it. She's on again. She's on again. We saw him move inside. Made the call. Switched back to the jig. Frickin' nailed him. Nice job, honey. Another male. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moby dicking us. <laughs> Trying to Moby dick us. Nice job. Nice job, honey. Wow. Look at the spot when it comes back. What a cool fish. Goodness gracious. Okay. We can get the photo on the last one, so I'm going to go for a photo on this one, guys. I'll be back. See you later, buddy. I yeah. Did it again. Nice job. <laughs> the magic bush provides. 
the magic bush provides. I got one too now on the bees. Oh yeah, magic bush. I love the magic bush. Oh, he's a crazy animal. He's a wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's towing us. Coming in hot. Oh, just kidding. All right, coming in hot again. Good job, honey. Yeah. Okay. There he is. Beautiful. Another pretty one. Yeah. Yeah, babe. We're nailing them. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's get him back. All right, buddy. See you later. Peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Hooligan Alley. Welcome to Hooligan Alley. Tonight, stay on the beach. Oh, what we're doing, I got a special lunch recipe I want to do with these guys today. So we're back into our pinch point. Much, much fewer than yesterday coming through. But the tide isn't exactly the same yet either. So we're going to wait for these things to start piling through. And I have a delicious soup recipe that I have in store for today. A little riverside snack but we gotta wait gotta wait till they start running hard so we can catch them again this is gonna be good i can't wait to try it okay here it goes hooligan alley trials okay i see my targets i'm zoning in honing in on my targets i'm chasing my targets i'm chasing them i'm chasing them, I'm chasing them. i missed them all i got a couple i got one that's good. One. Okay, I see a whole pot of them down here. Oh, they're all up on the bank. I'm gonna get a bunch here. One. They're all changing sides. They're all changing sides. Look at them all. God. Right. There's six. Got one. One wiggler. All right. That should do us. How many did we get? Two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Brooks bonking them. She's got a heart. We got lunch. Woohoo! Yeah, woohoo! God, these are gonna be tasty. Yum, yum, little yum. He loves them. Here you go, honey. The day's catch. Brooke's not hungry, so it's just me eating hooligan soup today. Show these guys real quick. I'll rip those gills out. Just like so. Take the knife. Right through in there, get those fins. Some people would eat these guts and all, but maybe that's the ew part is why, because you guys eat the guts. Maybe they taste better without the guts in them. Tail, fin, fin. Into the soup. Okay. I'm gonna add my seasoning to the broth. A little bit of extra. Some parsley. Okay. Bones are out. That's why I left the head on each one of these. You can get the flavor that comes out of that head, but then also you got something. Oh, he lost his head. Wow, the smells coming out of this thing should be illegal, I'm telling you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now in goes our nudes. We're doing a different kind of nude today. We're doing half nude. But two nudes. All right. 
Alright, she's looking good. Looks ready to eat to me. Oh, time to kick back. Oh wow. Look at that. Mmm. Those things are so fatty. That broth is phenomenal. Too hot to serve still. We're cold enough to eat. I tell you, that is absolutely delicious. If any of you out there ever get a chance to eat a smelt ramen dish, I'd say go for it. Oh, yeah. The broth is where it's at. Less noodles next time. Look at just that wonderful color in there. That's a good broth. Living in Alaska ain't so hard, I guess. The <laughs> eagle thought it was funny. They're talking, they're like, no, it is hard. Shut up. Don't move here. Okay, a little after, after something. After lunch bite. That's what we'll call it. I'm all hooliganed out. And now we're in freshy fish land. Let's see if we can find one. There he is. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh he's ripping. He's ripping me. Oh he can't. oh he's still there. He's still there. Wow, that was awesome. First cast after lunch. Just walked down here, and we got the biggest fish of the trip by far. This thing is kicking my butt already. Wow, it's a nice one too. It's a really nice one. Might be the nicest one of the trip. Oh God, it's really nice. Holy crap. Oh God. Oh God, that's a big fish. Okay, we're gonna trick him. I'm gonna back up. Oh God, this is a big fish. Oh God. Holy crap. Nice job, honey. Heck yeah. Yep, yep, there you go. Nice job. Oh my God, he about took you in the water. Holy crap. What the heck was that? Oh my God, it's huge. Holy crap. That's a giant steelhead, everybody. That might be just as big as the one we got on the fly rod a couple videos back. Let's cut to a little clip of that really quick. That's what a trophy steelhead on a fly rod looks like, everybody. Woo! Oh my goodness. Even I'm shaking. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a big fish. Ready for this, everyone? Holy crap. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna get him right back in the water. That is one of the nicest fish of the trip. I don't even know if we've floated over a fish this big yet. Probably all of 36, 37 inches. Oh wow, he's been fighting with other fish or seals. Wow. <laughs> High five world. Thanks for being with us on this adventure. One more look at this guy. <laughs> that's all right. No good photos, but that's all right. Who needs them? I got it all stored right here. Yes! Woo! Oh my God, that was a cool jet boat ride. Literally painful. My hands are killing me right now, but no time to spare. We gotta get our little camp cook shelter built. Some more tarpology for you guys here. We got some different lines. I'm thinking static line. This tree, to this guy over here, yonder, this one, right there. And then maybe this tree to this tree. Stretch the bad boy out. See what kind of coverage we get. Let's see how this goes. Okay, right. One line. This is what I call 
multi tarpology. We got this sick little cabin thing going over here. Nice little cabin thing over here. Fresh drinking water up top. Mm. <laughs> A little piney. We're looking real good here. We are set up. I like it. Camp 2.0. Moon improved. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it would appear things were going just too well because now we have a Mondo gaper sized hole in the bottom of the boat. Let's show you. As we were coming back up river from that last little session, we caught a little edge. You can see here, that's a big hole. I ordered the materials uh, to fix this permanently, but they didn't come in time for us to get out here on the water. And I wanted to get this video started for you guys. So right now on the rest of the evening, no more fishing, maybe some eating, probably some drinking now. But we gotta fix this hole in the rain with stuff that doesn't stick very well when it's wet. So we'll come up with a game plan. I think I'm gonna prop the motor up on top of this here, clean this off really well, try to beat it into submission and uh, put some stuff in there. Hopefully it works. Let's all cross our fingers together, okay? Okay, so we've now administered the crack stove to try to dry it all out. Got the crack stove buried in the mud. You got a pretty bad crack there. And then that gap, I to somehow cover up. But I got some Flex Seal in here warming up. Next to my body so it gets nice and warm. Once that stuff's ready and this is all dry and it's not dripping around here anymore, I'm gonna hit it with that Flex Seal on the bottom. Create my first little chamber, I guess you could say. All this stuff I'm gonna put on the inside. It's always something. You can't catch a giant steelhead without something bad happening to you, I feel like. Seems to be the case, but we'll get through this one. We'll get through this. We're supposed to get a recon mission tomorrow. We have a couple of buddies showing up. Um, the kids that run our addicted shop, some really, really great guys. Um, two young men, I don't think they're even 20 yet. But they're showing up and they've never been to Alaska before, so we need a working boat to take them fishing, obviously. So, I'll see how the rest of this works out. Fingers crossed. First one, I'm gonna go around this edge. Try to close up this gap. saying this will have to do in a pinch uh, this is that pinch <laughs> okay. temperature is the main name of the game in a situation like this gotta make sure that that glue everything gets hot so we do this and then we pray Heat up that area in there. Start lighting it on fire. Easier said than done. Nice and warm. Oh, there it is. It ain't perfect, but it'll get us back to town. Angles. <sighs> Let's cross our fingers. Let's just hope the other side of the boat doesn't sink tonight. <laughs> it worked. We'll see how, how good it floats in the morning. We gotta give that stuff some time to cure, clean out the boat in case it sinks. Motor's propped up, so that'll be okay. But see if we can get back home tomorrow. Okay, for appetizers, we're having some halibut chunkers. Yummy. Brought this stuff. It's been in there for a couple of days. I do not want it to go bad. I'd be darned if I saw this beautiful chunk of halibut go bad. So we're gonna do a little appetizer. A little halibut appetizer. Not bad for a steelhead camp. We're just gonna eat them just for the halibut. He stole my joke. Okay, 
Got them all seasoned up. You guys know I like to season my fish before it goes in the pan. Mm, that smells so nice. Really? I just farted. <laughs> That's my joke. I guess we're even. Okay, we don't want, want to skimp on the butter. We've got a half stick in there. Well, that stuff about frozen. But like Mama always says, add a half stick of butter to anything, it'll make it taste good. Into the butter. favorite dinner time or camping time or let's just say snow time recipes clean away some of this old snow and then I get a nice big cup full of snow and then back to camp the crack open the mountain brew pour it all in there mountain dew snow cone that's what we call that out here in the woods Yeah, that's living right there. Mountain Dew snow cones, halibut on a grill, freaking giant steelhead to end the day. Who cares if we had a hole in the boat, right? Today's been great. Not quite, not quite. Nobody panic. Don't get too ahead of ourselves here. The important thing with halibut though is that you don't overcook it. You get really dry Ooh, in a big hurry. Back to my slushy. Mm. Okay, first couple pieces are ready to flip. Oh, beautiful. We go for these thinner pieces. Right. Look at them little medallions. Holy Christ, that looks good. Oh my God. That couldn't be any better. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Oh, look how wonderfully flaky that is. It's got such a fresh flavor. Simple. A little parsley, oregano, salt, garlic, fried in some butter. Just the way it should be eaten. Mm. Okay, we'll be right back in a minute with dinner. Okay, next on the menu is we're doing sloppy hose tonight. It's a spin off from the sloppy joe. We actually just use chunky uh, spaghetti sauce, lots of tapatillo or cholula, and some seasonings and some Worcestershire. Gonna chunk up an onion. Lots of Worcestershire, that's how we're gonna make it taste not like a spaghetti sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brooke's idea for the record, it's not my idea. Just a ton of pepper, lots of pepper. And uh, yeah, I think you guys get the gist by now, the seasonings that we're using. Steamy, it's a steamy meat. Okay, time to add our spaghetti sauce. Normally, for a recipe like this, I like to use a bottle of chili sauce. Not like normal chili sauce, but like the, the Heinz chili sauce that you actually use, you know, that actually comes in the little glass bottles. Makes an absolutely amazing sloppy joe. So I've just seasoned the meat again, like it was gonna be kind of the sloppy joe, seasoning lots of Worcestershire. Lots of different stuff in there, and I'm just not gonna add a whole heaping amount of uh, tomato sauce. So it should normally, I'd use ketchup, um, half parts ketchup, and that chili sauce, which makes a really good sloppy joe. But that's actually not looking too far off. Let's use just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna do it. 
Okay. Let that bubbly. Let that bubble around for a minute. See here. Good pass for a sloppy. Okay, we're getting the bread toasty in the, the old pot and pan trick. Here we go. Honestly, even if it did taste like spaghetti, this would be a great way to eat it. Kind of just subbing the nudes. It's almost like a meatball sandwich in a way. Oh yeah, look at that. Do this over the pan. Mmm, tastes like a sloppy joe. Mmm. And I am a big fan. One of the best meals yet. Halibut and sloppy joe. Whew. Gonna wolf this down. Crawl into the tent, get warm. Get ready for another amazing day. Good night, everybody. Well, moment of truth. Sea trials. Round two. Let's see if it floats. At the floater, no water coming through, it'll get us home. We're gonna go back to civilization, get the boat fixed for real. But nonetheless, the day has started well. We got a floating boat. Well, we found someone to actually weld the boat um, and get it fixed. So while Jordan's over there doing that, I am feeling snacky. So I walked over here and looking for something to eat. I'll show you guys if you're ever hungry. You can eat some bladder rack. That's what this stuff is called right here. They look like little claws. It's called bladder rack. It's a type of seaweed and it has a ton of minerals, and vitamins, iodine. This stuff is really good for your bladder and everything like that, so. I'm gonna just eat those little claws. And they're just delicious. Sometimes they'll be saltier in different areas. This is pretty mild. It's not super salty. But ma'am, obviously there are some better places to eat these. Sometimes you don't want to eat these in places where there's gonna be a bunch of boats running around, but right here it seems to be really good. These taste amazing. You can even dry these um, in a dehydrator and use them into teas or create tinctures if you're into that kind of thing. Just great for you. Oh man, these ones are delicious. Hey honey, watch your little snack. <laughs> Well, everybody, it has been about three or four days since we've last talked, because I've been taking these boys around this amazing piece of Alaska and showing them what it was all about. The boat stayed afloat for us. We made it all the way back down, picked the boys up, and we have had an amazing couple of days of fishing. We have a couple of guys that work in our shop. There's a few guys. There's a huge team at our other business, Addicted Fishing, uh, and our other YouTube channel, and there's a lot of people behind the scenes that make that channel happen. And so we had two of our, our young guys that work for us. He's never been to Alaska before. They both obviously love steam and steelhead fishing. So as a big thank you to them for working so hard in the shop, we invited them up and took them out for a few days here in Alaska. So, and I tell you what, we had an amazing trip. We caught some huge fish. We had some good laughs. We had a good time. And nonetheless, Brooke and I survived 10 days in the woods living out here in the Alaskan bush. It was so much fun. It was awesome fishing. And this has been an amazing video. I hope you guys have liked it. And I can't wait till we go on another Alaskan adventure together. So we got a lot of packing to do. We still have some festivities for the night, so stick around. We still might catch some fish. But it's time to pack up Chateau de Steelhead. Sad day. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm.